And this mystical Catholicism that we portray, that we render to people, is Catholicism where we can bring Jesus into our hearts. We can make our hearts a Bible. We can make our hearts a Gospel according to the Lord, which is, as Jesus said, I will make your heart the Kingdom of God. We follow the core of the Bible and in love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. And love your neighbour as you love thyself. These are the core of the Bible that we um, portray and we, we render to people. However, this Bible over the 2,000 years has been subject to a lot of alteration in the St. James Version, so many translations, and it's been altered. Once the, the name of Jesus, and Jesus enters your heart, then when you read the Bible, you, see, you seem to have some divine understanding of the Bible, with this love of Jesus that, that we can give to people, this mystical technique we have of injecting the seed of Jesus' love into hearts of humanity. And we're here to share it with you, as we've shared it with so many others. And so many people have felt this benefit. They felt closeness to Jesus. They felt guidance. They felt a, a mysterious closeness that they never had before with Jesus. While still practicing their worship. We do not tell people, don't go to church, don't read the Bible. We say that this is an addition. This is a, this is a gift that goes alongside your worship. And also, this sign of Jesus, which appears, as you can see on the right, this is the holy black stone in Carver. It's impossible that this was tampered with or altered. The image of Jesus is clear on the left, next to our Lady Mother Mary, who is always with Jesus. And these two images appear on the black stone also. Now, this image of Jesus was manifest in God because his second coming is imminent, and we must physically be able to recognize Jesus. And the physical resemblance of this image on the moon will allow us physically to recognize Jesus on his second coming. But Jesus is of two persons. He has a human form and he has a divine form. To recognize this divine form, then we must have our hearts enlightened. We must be spiritualized in order to recognize a spiritual personality like Jesus. And the question is, how do we get spiritualized? We get spiritualized by seeking a divine, a perfect and enlightened master, a spiritual master, that can inject that seed of love into your heart. It will wash away your sins. It will cleanse your heart, ready for Jesus to dwell in your heart. It's very similar to if you have a VIP guest visiting your house. The first thing we'll do is do a spring clean. We call it spring clean in England. I don't know what we call it here. A spring clean. Clean everything ready for your VIP. In a similar way, your heart must be cleansed for Jesus to dwell there. And through this seed that's implanted into the heart by a spiritual master, then Jesus will dwell inside the heart. Because we cannot physically connect ourselves to Jesus' human form. We're not biologically in the lineage of Jesus. We cannot be his brother or his sister. We cannot connect to this human side. We can only connect to the divine side. And this is what we concentrate on, is the divine side. Our reality being our soul and our heart is what we concentrate on. Whereas in churches and other worship places, 
They do concentrate on the physical side of Jesus, the birth of Jesus. This is uh, celebrated at Christmas time. And the death of Jesus, which is at Easter time. But this human film, which did die on 